So chances are by now you've seen the ridiculous scene in the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League game where Batman dies in the most disrespectful way possible, but for the few that haven't, this is what we're talking about. You had a good run, Brucey. Flying around Gotham, punching bad guys, cleaning up the streets, causing long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone you knew. Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. Are you retarded? So yeah, clearly this is the worst possible way to handle this situation, given the fact that Kevin Conroy is a legend amongst video game fans and fans of Batman who love the way that he voiced that character. So given the fact that he died and they chose to kill off Batman in this ridiculous way where they make him look absolutely pathetic, it's pretty easy to see why this game isn't going down too well and why it's going to absolutely flop. And on top of the horrible scene in which they kill off Batman, they also have the most cringiest scenes possible, like this one with Harley Quinn, where I've got to ask, if the roles were reversed, I don't think it would have gone down too well. Touch us. But you saying I can't really makes me want to, you know? <laughs> no! Harley, no! no. Worth it. And to me, this just shows the worst of modern entertainment and how we've gotten to the point now where these studios continue to deliver projects that the fans don't like and it's becoming more clear every day that these big companies have no idea what their audience base wants and there's a true divide between consumer and supplier. But as I'm not a gaming channel myself, I'll leave all of the gaming talk to those who are better at it than me, but what I will discuss here is the fact that this game was reportedly overseen by James Gunn and DC Studios, and it's being reported that they look to build more of a relationship between the games and the movies, and they want to use these games to build even more fans for their films. So obviously that makes this even worse, given the fact that James Gunn is now overseeing seeing DC Studios and overseeing the movies that they're going to make there, if he thought that this was good enough for public consumption, I can't bear to think how bad these movies are going to get. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. It's over. We are screwed. And what makes this even more ridiculous is the fact that James Gunn has proven before that he knows what a good story is. He's proven before that he was a true fan, he understands what fans want, and he's proven that through his amazing movies like Guardians of the Galaxy or his Suicide Squad film, which wasn't perfect by any stretch, but it certainly wasn't bad. So he has proven that he understands what good entertainment is, he understands what audiences want, but his decisions lately have been all wrong and he continues to drive DC further into the ground which forces me to ask the question how much power does he really have at DC or is he just a figurehead position where they use him for marketing and they use him to get fans confident about DC moving forward but he isn't making the real hard decisions because ever since he stepped in as the head of DC he's chosen to cut out Henry Cavill from Superman which is is exactly what the fans want, and then he also chose to start his new quote-unquote DCU with the movie Blue Beetle, which is a hero that no one cares about. So these are two terrible decisions, two decisions you wouldn't expect someone as well-versed as James Gunn to make, so it really does pull into question how much power does he truly have.
And to get back to the Suicide Squad game here, you would really think that given DC's current reputation, they would choose to play it as safe as possible when it comes to any of their movies and any of their video games. And you'd think the safe option, after Kevin Conroy sadly passed away, would be to let Batman live, or if you are going to kill him off, do it in a slightly less disrespectful manner where it can actually be seen as honourable and people can respect the decision, but killing him off in the way that they chose to do it was utterly ridiculous and doesn't make sense when your full focus is to try and rebuild your reputation. And I know given my limited knowledge that Rocksteady runs these games, it's not necessarily all DC, but DC do oversee it. It is also in partnership with Warner Brothers Gaming, so DC definitely need to be pulled into question here, and this all reflects their studio to begin with. With, so they definitely need to make better choices than this. And DC are honestly in such a great position where if they can come out with great video games and great movies, they can take over the superhero franchise world, given that Marvel are really struggling right now and are struggling to create good stories. If DC can come out with amazing stories about people's favorite heroes, they could absolutely smash it. Yet they continue to ignore exactly what the fans are asking for. And if any company right now would just listen to audience spaces and listen to the fact that they're angry over how their favorite heroes have been changed or manipulated or gotten rid of, all you need to do then is just keep your heroes the way fans like them and not play around, not change them, and not try and force any sort of messaging within your story and you will absolutely kill it. That is all DC need to do right now, yet they continue to not do that and once again completely change a character like Batman into becoming a completely pathetic loser like he clearly is in this video game. And if games are meant to be some great marketing tool for your movies, you would think you would use that to make the fans happy and to increase expectation for your new DCU, not completely turn them away from it like they've done here. And while we're on the topic of DC's death, we have once again seen another stupid decision with them deciding to not have Batman in Super Superman Legacy, despite featuring other DC heroes. It really feels like at this moment they have some vendetta against Batman and they just don't want Batman to succeed when clearly he's your most respected hero, he's the hero everybody wants to see, yet they go and cast Supergirl and make a huge fuss about her when that's totally fine, but if you're going to add other characters to this film as well, you might as well add Batman too. And when your main goal is to try and revive the DCU and make it profitable, you'd think you'd want to start with your biggest names and not necessarily make a massive fuss about Supergirl. Like I said, that's a fine character to have, but maybe add her a little further down the line when you've already established this great franchise, this great universe, with characters that people actually enjoy, like Batman, Superman, preferably played by Henry Cavill, and Wonder Woman, who'd preferably be written well. As I wasn't a massive fan with what they did with Wonder Woman, but that doesn't make her a less respected character, that doesn't make her a bad character, it means all they need to do is tell a good story with her and she'll for sure succeed. So it's not about gender, it's not about women or men, it's just about starting your new universe with characters that people actually know and respect in order to gain that profitability, in order to gain the trust of your audience and then bring in a character like Superman. But clearly DC aren't making the right choices here and they continue to dig themselves further and further into this hole. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't even bother trying to build a new universe. Clearly, fans are getting sick of all of these multiverses, and I know that's what they're claiming to do here with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, as they're saying Batman isn't really dead because there's other Batman in other universes, but it's getting ridiculous at this point. Clearly, that's not what fans want to see, as standalone movies like The Batman and 
and the Joker are continuing to succeed despite not being tied to any universe. So clearly the focus should be on story, shouldn't be on building some massive world. People are absolutely sick of it. It's getting too ridiculous at this point. So honestly, if I was DC, I would just focus on telling good standalone projects for a while, rebuilding that trust, then maybe, just maybe, attempting to build out your universe. But all in all, DC continue to make these horrible choices, and Suicide Kill the Justice League is just another one of those choices, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed me talking about gaming content for once, as that's not really my strong suit, that's not really what I do here on this channel, but I did think I wanted to weigh in on this terrible controversy that's going on, but like I said, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.